Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn at Cast Iron Cookware, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. Today we're going to be showing you how to season cast iron cookware, and we're going to be doing that coming right up. Okay, before we get started, I just want to say thank you again to everyone that has purchased my product, Easy Beasy Cast Iron Seasoning. The purchase of this product helps keep this channel going, and I just want to say I appreciate you so very much. So let's get on into the video. We have right here a pretty well modern lodge piece of cast iron with a helper handle. This a number eight. It just says 8SK, and it's a modern lodge. And of course it has the lodge, you know, across the bottom right here. Okay, it's a nice little skillet and I have stripped it down to bare metal. Now I did go and apply a paste coat of my Easy Beasy Cast Iron Seasoning just to keep it from rusting. But it is down to bare metal and you can see it's a nice, I think it may have been used a little bit. But other than that, it looks pretty good. And, uh, it doesn't have any seasoning on it right now, and we're going to remedy that. I'm going to go through the steps one by one and try to simplify it as best I can. Now, if you want to know how to strip a piece of cast iron or how to get the old gunk and seasoning or rust off of it, you'll have to check out one of my other videos. I've got several videos on how to uh, strip cast iron and also how to remove rust. I will leave a card that you can click right up here and check those other videos out as well. So when you get time after this one's over, check it out if you have a piece that needs to be de-rusted or stripped of all the old seasoning. So first thing we're going to do is I have this piece here that, that is pretty much bare metal. We're going to put it in the oven and let it get warm so it can receive the seasoning. A lot of people say you've got to get the cast iron hot so the pores will open up. Well, I'm here to tell you cast iron does not have pores. It's not porous, but it does have a rough surface when it comes down to the microscopic level. It might look really smooth here, but take a really close look, it's not going to be as smooth as it appears. But what heating the cast iron does, it doesn't necessarily make it where the cast iron will receive oil, but it makes it where the oil is more receivable. When the oil gets warm, it thins out to the point where it will spread more evenly and really get down into the little bitty uh, rough surfaces of the cast iron. So we're going to put it in the oven, and as soon as it gets up to 200 degrees, we'll bring this thing back and we'll apply our first coat of oil. So you do want to bear in mind, no matter what kind of oil that you're using, what your smoke point is. So if it has a smoke point of 350, go ahead and go about 400 degrees. Go about 50 degrees above the smoke point of the oil that you're using. That way you'll be safe and you'll get a good polymer. Okay, we got our pan out of the oven and it's on the warm side. And I'm going to pull the camera down where we can see what we're doing. Now I've got it here on this trivet because it is hot. And I got my Easy Beasy. And I'm just going to swirl a little bit on there and some around the, the edge. And I'm going to rub it in. Now we want to give it a good coating all over. Now I put it at 200 degrees. Possibly could have went 250. Now this first coating is going to be your dirtiest coat where you're going to get some residue on your towel. And you can use an old t-shirt. They work really well. 
You won't have any lint with an old t-shirt. Now this old t-shirt, this is a sleeve off of a t-shirt. And it's pretty much infused. I've used it quite a bit. Until it gets infused, you can keep using your seasoning stick, your Easy Beasy, or whatever kind of oil that you're using. Just make sure that you get good coverage. Okay, at this point, our pan is completely covered in Easy Beasy, or whatever kind of seasoning oil that you happen to be using. At this point, what you want to do is wipe off as much oil as you possibly can. You may even want to use the word buff. You know, really buff it as dry as you possibly can because you don't want any excess oil. I'm really trying to coin the phrase, less is best, because the less oil, the best seasoning you're going to get. There's still oil there, you just can't already see it. Some people will even put it back in the oven and go ahead and crank the temperature up to about 300 degrees. And after it gets hot, take it back out again and wipe it down again. Not add any more oil, but just buff off as much as they possibly can. And you'll get the best seasoning layer that way. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the oven. I'm going to put it upside down. Now a lot of people does it upside down because if you have any drippage, it won't be pooling up in the bottom of your pan. But if you have it wiped down good enough, you're not going to have any drippage. So let's put this in the oven, crank it up to 500 degrees for one hour. And after it cools down, we'll pull it out and take a look at it. Okay, we got our pan out of the oven and it looks pretty good. Still a little bit too, too hot to touch. Well, maybe about 200 degrees. Let me pull the camera down. While it's still on the hot side, we're going to apply another layer of our Easy Beasy. After we know that we have it coated good, we'll go back and if you notice, our cloth is not getting all dark now. It probably could be a little bit warmer. I'm going to switch to our t-shirt. Now if you're using any kind of cooking oil besides what I'm using, the process would be the same. And actually it's a little bit cooler than I would like it. I'm going to go ahead and wipe away or buff away as much excess as I possibly can. Remember, less is best. Now, you may say there's not any oil left on there. You've done rubbed it all off. Well, it's still there. You just can't see it. But the excess that will cause a problem is not on there. I get pictures all the time from people asking me, what did I do wrong? And they'll have their cast iron and they'll have splotchy uh, seasoning or it'll have little specks all in there and they'll say what did I do wrong? The answer is almost always too much oil. So we're going to stick this in back in the oven at 500 degrees for another hour and we'll check it out on our second round. It's starting to look really nice. Getting even darker. So we're going to put this in the oven for a third round at 500 degrees for one hour. And it'll be ready to go. It'll be ready to be used after that 
So let's stick this back in the oven. Okay, we finally got our skillet out of the oven and it looks really, really nice. It looks just as good, actually better than it was when it was brand new. The surface is actually perfect. I can't wait to use it. Now it is dry. I don't have any oil on it for storage. And if you're not going to be using a piece for a long time and you get it out of the oven after you've seasoned it, go ahead and hang it up dry. Then you won't have to worry about the oil going rancid. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and found it to be useful. If you have, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I promise I'll keep more of them coming. You can also follow Cast Iron Cookware on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Check out the Cast Iron Cookware Facebook group. It is full of people who love cast iron, love sharing, and connecting. You can also sign up to receive emails from Cast Iron Cookware. I'll leave a link to all these sites in the video description below. So thank you again for watching Cast Iron Cookware. Before you go, I just want to share something with you really quickly. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 through 4, it says, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall you also appear with Him in glory. I just want to say, share the word and be a blessing.